At its core, the SHDCCP packet is a highly efficient, 64-bit, instruction seed. Think of it as a complete blueprint for a single, complex operation. Its primary design is to package a 3D state, and the logic needed to transform it into one tiny, 64-bit unit. It's divided into four primary components, which we can look at from the most significant bit, MSB, down. The payload scalar, bits 63 to 48. This is a 16-bit section that acts as the primary context or modifier for the entire packet. It's stored as a 16-bit floating point number, an FP16, which means it can represent a very wide range of values. You can think of this as a master multiplier that scales the entire operation defined by the rest of the packet. The dynamics, bits 47 to 40. This 8-bit section defines the behavioral parameters of the operation. It's split into two parts. Frequency ID, 5 bits this identifies a specific frequency, timing, or vibrational pattern that the logic should use. Spin ID, 3 bits this identifies a spin class or harmonic relationship, further defining the character of the operation. The state and ID, bits 39 to 32. This is the symbolic or logic part of the packet. This 8-bit section defines what the packet is supposed to do. Form ID, 4 bits this is the core verb of the packet. It's an ID that tells the system which specific structural form or logic to execute, e.g., run instruction number 5. Amplitude ID, 3 bits this acts as a modifier for the logic's intensity or amplitude. Parity bit, 1 bit this is a single bit used for basic error checking to ensure the data in this section is valid. The compressed quaternion, bits 31 to 0. This is the largest and most fundamental part of the packet. The neuro, or state. These 32 bits define the packet's complete 3D orientation. To fit a full 3D rotation into just 32 bits, it's compressed using a format called FP8E4M3X4. This means the 32 bits are split into four 8-bit chunks. Each chunk is a tiny 8-bit floating point number that, when decompressed, gives you the W, X, Y, and Z components of a quaternion. This quaternion is then used to rotate the packet in 3D space.